One of my favorite Bible stories comes at the end of Mark chapter 4 and the beginning of chapter 5, and it's perfect for the upcoming Halloween season. As the sun set, Jesus and his disciples got into a boat to cross the Sea of Galilee. Apparently worn out from a day of teaching, Jesus promptly found a cushion on deck and fell asleep. Out of nowhere, a furious storm blew up around them. The wind howled, the waves crashed over the boat, rain poured in sheets. The men were, were shouting and, and maybe even swearing a little. They, they were fishermen after all. And Jesus, out cold. And so they woke him up. Hey, we're drowning here. Do you even care? He got up, maybe, maybe he stretched a bit, and then stepped to the railing and said three words. Quiet, be still. The wind hushed. The waves settled, the rain stopped. And the disciples were terrified. Who is this? Even the wind and waves obey him. I like to think he had a you-ain't-seen-nothing-yet look in his eye. Because when they landed on the other shore, they encountered something far more terrifying than a sea storm. By then, it was dark. The moon cast an eerie glow across the sand. In the distance, a flash of lightning from the retreating storm. Still soaked to the bone and shaken from what they'd witnessed, they climbed out of the boat, grateful to be off the water. And I wonder, did they hear it before they saw it? A howl? Or was it a scream? Or something in between? Whatever it was, however it sounded, the sight of the demon-possessed man coming right at them must have been paralyzing. Links of broken chain clanged at his ankles and wrists where someone had tried to restrain him. His body was scarred and bleeding from crooked cuts and the stench. He smelled like death. He looked like a zombie. When he opened his mouth to speak, it wasn't one voice they heard, but a multitude. And the disciples, every one of them, fell back but Jesus stepped forward. What is your name? He asked. And the voices answered, My name is Legion, for we are many. The demons begged Jesus not to send them out of the territory, so he allowed them to come out of the tormented man and into a herd of 2,000 pigs. The pigs promptly rushed down a steep bank into the sea and drowned. And for the first time, in a long, long time, the demon-possessed man was free and at peace. Now, there's more to this story, but that's a good place to stop. The world is full of scary things and frightened people. It's good to remember that the wind and the waves and the demons and diseases, that the monsters, whether they're physical or spiritual or something else altogether, all know who Jesus is, and they're more afraid of him than we are afraid of them because he is the Lord. He's the master. He's the son of the most high. But does he care? He cares. And he can speak those three words, quiet, be still, over your storm. Not a sermon, just a thought.